Hello and welcome to Children's Time this week. This week we're going to talk a little bit about God's creation. That God created the world, human beings, plants, animals, and God called it all good. And we're going to just talk a little bit about what that might mean for us. We're going to read the first creation story from the book of Genesis chapter 1. When God began to create the heavens and the earth, the earth was without shape or form. It was dark over the deep sea, and God's wind swept over the waters. God said, let there be light, and so light appeared. God saw how good the light was. God separated the light from the darkness and named the light day and the darkness night. There was evening and there was morning the first day. God said, let there be a dome in the middle of the waters to separate the waters from each other. God made the dome and separated the waters under the dome from the waters above the dome. And it happened in that way, God named the dome sky. There was evening and there was morning the second day. God said, let the waters under the sky come together into one place so that the dry land can appear. And that's what happened. God named the dry land earth and he named the gathered waters seas. God saw how good it was. God said, let the earth grow plant life plants yielding seeds and fruit trees bearing fruit with seeds inside it, each according to its own kind throughout the earth. And that's what happened. The earth produced plant life, plants yielding seeds each according to its kind, and trees bearing fruit with seeds inside it, each according to its kind. God saw, saw how good it was. There was evening and there was morning the third day. God said, let there be lights in the dome of the sky to separate the day from the night. They will mark events, sacred seasons, days and years. They will be lights in the dome of the sky to shine on the earth. And that's what happened. God made the stars and two great lights, the larger light to rule over the day and the smaller light to rule over the night. God put them in the dome of the sky to shine on earth, to rule over the day and over the night, and to separate the light from the darkness. God saw how good it was. There was evening and there was morning the fourth day. And God said, let the waters swarm with living things and let the birds fly above the earth in the dome of the sky. God created the great sea animals and all the tiny living things that swarm in the waters, each according to its kind, and all the winged birds, each according to its kind. God saw how good it was. Then God blessed them. Be fertile and multiply and fill the waters in the seas and let the birds multiply on the earth. There was evening and there was morning the fifth day. God said, let the earth produce every kind of living thing, livestock, crawling things, and wildlife. That's what happened. God made every kind of wildlife, every kind of livestock, and every kind of creature that crawls on the ground. God saw how good it was. Then God said, let us make humanity in our own image to resemble us so they may take charge of the fish of the sea the birds in the sky, the livestock, all the earth, and all the crawling things on the earth. God created humanity in God's own image. In the divine image, God created them. Male and female, God created them. God blessed them and said to them, Be fertile and multiply. Fill the earth and master it. Take charge of the fish of the sea, the birds in the sky and everything crawling on the ground. Then God said, I now give to you all the plants on the earth that yield seeds and all the trees whose fruit produces its seeds within it. These will be your food. To all wildlife, to all the birds in the sky, 
and to everything crawling on the ground, to everything that breathes. I give all the green grasses for food. And that's what happened. God saw everything he had made. It was supremely good. There was evening and there was morning the sixth day. In this story of creation, we hear how God creates the earth. How God fills the earth with all sorts of animals and fish and birds, all kinds of plants and trees. And then God creates humans. God creates humans in God's own image. That means that you were created in God's image. I am created in God's image. Every person in the entire world is created in God's image. So we should be able to see those people and see God's self in them. That's how God sees human beings. When God looks at them, looks at us, and God sees us and sees these wonderful creatures that God made that have God's image inside them. So when we look at one another, when we think about how we treat one another, even though on the outside we may look different, even though we may have different personalities, different likes and dislikes, we might even act with different customs depending on where we're from. Deep inside, we're all the same. We're all made in God's image. And it matters that we are kind to one another. It matters that we value each other. It matters that we care about each other. And so as you go throughout your week, when you encounter people, when you see people around you, I want you to think about and remember that God's image is in them. Just like God's image is in you. And we're all special. You're special because God created you. Please pray with me. Dear God, thank you for creating us in your image. Thank you for blessing us so many kinds of different people. Help us to be kind and care for all people. In your holy name we pray. Amen. Thank you and I'll see you guys next week.